All right, guys. So um, I just set up the Sumo real quick with that um, out, um, cordless uh, motor. You can see right there. That's the cordless motor set up on the Sumo. Um, I try to clean it up a little bit. Uh, I still haven't cut the wires on those servos, but I just go, went ahead and wrapped it up on that bar in the back. Just so you can see the ESC and you can see there's nothing hidden in there. I mean, all the electronics are in there. Everything fits in the chassis pretty well. Nothing's sticking out this time. There's actually extra room left on top. Um, let's see. So um, what I didn't show last time is got the, the springs on it. I didn't show the articulation before it starts lifting the back. So that's how far it'll go before it starts lifting in the back. And that's only because the springs are there. Of course, it can go more if, um, if it wasn't for the springs. But um, it goes pretty far. That's with the sprung setup, not the uh, droop setup. Now, because I got this new motor in there, I wanted to show you guys the, the speed. Uh, I am running the stock transmission not the modded one but the stock transmission um, transfer case and the stock gearbox so what you're gonna see is the speed uh, gain by just using this motor instead of the other bigger motor let's go ahead and turn that on Now, tell us the speed. Now let's go ahead and show its strength. It's a little bit faster than what it was before, and uh, should be a little bit stronger. So now, this different from the other video that I showed you guys the strength. Uh, right now, I'm running the Y claws, which are bigger and heavier than the other ones. I haven't weighed them to know specifically how much they weigh, but. Uh, you know they are heavier so I'm gonna try and lift them I mean you can lift them pretty fast obviously it's got the strength to do that but this is a crawler so I want to show how much strength it has while going slow oh, that's where you really know how strong the, the sumo really is so I'm gonna try and lift them extremely slow just to show its, its torque which is what you need to um, get up the rocks you can see the front tires are starting to move very slowly bring him up. There. Now it can hold itself. So it's got enough drag in the drive line and the motor itself to hold it up there. So that means if you're at a rock, it's not going to start spinning out, you know, and falling down the rock. It's actually going to hold its place there. Now, as you can see, the motor is able to hold them in midair and actually from there it's able to go higher and higher and higher very slowly I don't even have to hit the throttle all the way now let's bring them down now okay fine perfect uh, that sounds good it's strong enough well let's get a little crazier here now trying to see if I can focus there that's two ounces all right, this is a two ounce weight, which I'm gonna use in front. I'm gonna put it way up here. Now, let's see if the Sumo can lift two ounces of weight way up in the front. Oh, there it goes. So, not only can it lift its own weight, but if you were to put two ounces of weight in front of it, it could still lift it. Don't even try this with the stock motor. It's not even going to try and do that. Alright, so two ounces is okay. But, can we do four? I don't know. I haven't tried. Let's try it out. Now, this might be crazy. 
I don't know if this is gonna fall, so let me do something. I don't want my wife to get on my case. <laughs> This is only in case that stuff falls. I don't want to break the glass. So, um, this is the ultimate test. Sumo crawler, Michael tires, four um, weight rings on each wheel. Not just one and two, it's four. Two on each side of the wheel, same on the other side. And two, four ounces in the front. Again, I'm going to try and go slow. This is where you can tell how strong it really is. Oh yeah. Okay. And it still has enough um, drag to hold itself in midair. It's holding itself plus the four ounces of weight in the front axle. And that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> but because we're smart, we didn't get in trouble with the wife. Anyway, just wanted you guys to see how strong this guy is. Motor, barely even warm. As you can see, I can hold my finger on there not getting burned or screaming or shouting um, I think this is as good as it gets as far as upgrade motors I mean I can get a longer um, cordless motor which I am gonna do I'm already looking around to see if I can get um, a longer one this one's only 17 inches long I mean 17 millimeters long I'm looking to get a 27 millimeter long motor by 17 wide or 16 uh, that's just gonna make, give me ridiculous amounts of power uh, but as it is that's four ounces not grams four ounces of weight in the front axle of the sumo I lifted it not fast but slowly kept it in midair and started from there and lifted it all the way up and brought it down I think that is enough strength. I don't think we need to get any stronger with the Sumo. I think that's the motor you guys need if you're looking to have the extra power. I mean, don't go crazy. Uh, where I got that motor, I got it from, um, what's it called? One of those, uh, Jesus. Ah, Solar Cerebrals. They're about 17 bucks at hobbyparts.com. And, uh, I think that's the D771 uh, servo. They have the D772 servo as well, which is a high torque servo, but I'm pretty sure it uses the same motor, it just has different gearing. Uh, like I said, that's all you need. The difference between this motor, which is smaller than the other servo motor, uh, the big block that I was talking about before, is that this is. Um, a coreless motor meaning that the whole mass in the center of the motor is not what spins it's actually a basket weave around that mass which is um, really strong magnets now just the mass in the middle and then it has this hole through the middle of those, that magnet that has the shaft that connects to that basket weave around that's what's really spinning with this motor you don't have any cogging it's actually free flowing it spins it doesn't have you know the regular magnets from the regular motor which makes it kind of go in steps this is actually free flow all the way around so no cogging uh, no loss of power it's just super fast super strong super efficient anyways I'm getting boring so I hope this showed you guys how strong the sumo really is and um, I guess I'm um, you know try it out see what you get alright that's the chassis again yay Anyways, thanks for watching guys.